I'm Cape Joel, and this is another awesome installment of The Rack Attack, a special weekly comic book show where I run down five of my favorite books from the week that was, let you know what's worth reading, and let you know what you should be picking up. And without further ado, let's hop on into our first book of the week, which is Batman Europa. Now, I'll be the first to tell you Batman oversaturation is a real problem right now at DC's. I mean, when you factor in all of his books and all the series directly connected to him, it's very easy just to get desensitized to the dark. Night. And yet, every so often, something like Batman Europa comes along and blows right through my cynicism. First off, as you may have noticed, this is a very classic looking Batman with his underwear on the outside and a bluish tint to his costume. Yes, this is an out of continuity project that it would seem has been in the works for a long time now, and I can happily say I really enjoyed the first issue. When Batman gets infected with a virus that will kill him if he doesn't find a cure, he's forced to take a trip to Europe, a very educational one, no less. The change of scenery is really cool, and uh, you also get a real sense for uh, Germany and Berlin, which is the first stop on his trip. We also discovered that the Joker has been infected with the very same disease as Batman, and these two mortal foes will need to join forces if they want to live. All in all, a very good start to what should be a cool four-parter. If you want a more in-depth review of this comic, then by all means, Check out mine over at the Comic Book Cast 2 channel right now. Get ready to bring down the thunder because our next book on the Rack Attack is The Mighty Thor issue number one. Jason Aaron has been on absolute fire with the Thor book from day one, and while some people certainly got their dander up over the hammer changing hands and the mystery surrounding it in the last arc before Secret Wars, I can personally say I was riveted all the damn way through. Of course, the big hurdle now for the book is that the cancer-ridden Jane Foster has indeed been revealed to be the new God of Thunder. Will readers stick around for her adventures? I know I sure will. Issue 1 offers up a ton of interesting new situations for our favorite Super Thunder. You see, along with dealing with a slow death from cancer, Jane must also contend with an Asgard and an Odin that have branded her an outlaw, not to mention a war that threatens to erupt in the Nine Realms, which Jane can stop with her work as a senator representing Earth on a cosmic stage. What I'm trying to say is Thor is busier now than ever before, and I am totally psyched to see where this new run is going to take us. Our third book on the Rack Attack this week for Wednesday, November 18th, 2015 is Titans Hunt, issue number two. Teen Titans fans have been pretty hard done by in the New 52 era. Not only does the current team kind of blow and have blown since day one, but DC even went back and edited the trade paperbacks, making it official that this newest team was the only team of Titans ever to grace the DCU. But along comes Dan Avenue with this 12-part series entitled Hunt, and everything is starting to change quick. All the original members of the Teen Titans, including Dick Grayson, Roy Harper, and even Donna Troy, just to name a few, are being mysteriously drawn to each other by a force out of their control. Is this force good or evil? Well, that's yet to be seen, but all I can say is it's awesome that one of my favorite super teams is getting assembled all over again. Our penultimate comic on the rack attack for this week is... It's... It's Fate Star... Freaking Blade Builder series. Why are the batteries never included in these things? It's Star Wars Bader Down, issue number one. The new generation of Marvel Star Wars books has been killing it. Great writers getting a chance to play around in an amazing universe. And now they're trying something brand new. A Star Wars comic book event that crosses over both main monthly titles. The story finds the Dark Lord of the Sith on a quest to find his missing son. Only he jumps straight into the Rebel fleet while on maneuvers. I like in the new Star Wars canon both the TV shows and the comics. They're really trying to reestablish Darth Vader, the former Anakin Skywalker, as a great pilot. His son Luke also seems to have inherited these skills because the premier issue treats us to an absolutely awesome space battle. It all culminates in Vader being stuck behind enemy lines with almost the entire force of the Rebellion breathing down his neck. Will he escape these insurmountable odds? Well, yes, obviously he does. It's a foregone conclusion, but that still doesn't mean we can't have a lot of fun along the way, huh? And our final book on the Rack Attack this week, you know her, you love her, you've been waiting for her to return, it's Miss Marvel number one. You know, I don't think I'm out of line when I say G. Willow Wilson changed the face of modern day comics when she burst onto the scene with Miss Marvel, and now the hero we love is back again, and an Avenger to boot. Yes, this is another book that more or less ignores Secret Wars ever happened, but at least it pokes fun at that fact, which I will always appreciate. 
As we join this new number one, Kamala Khan is struggling being a hero, an Avenger, as well as an icon to her community. She's also still a teenager and dealing with all that hormonal and relationship stuff that comes with it. It's a book that continues to do a masterful job spinning a ton of different plates and making it all look so very easy. Miss Marvel number one continues to be a feel-good read that I think we could all use a little more of in our lives. Well, everybody, that will just about do it for another great episode of The Rack Attack. As always, I want you to sound off in the comment section down below. Tell me what were your favorite comics from the week that was, and what will you hope to see me talk about on a future episode. I hope you enjoyed watching the episode as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you, and I will see you all next time. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.